Hi, I'm Jilly G. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make peanut butter sandwich cookies. And first up, we're going to do the dry ingredients. And I have one and a half cups of my gluten-free flour mix, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And just mix this together and set this aside. So in here I have half a cup of butter, really soft, and just mash this around a little bit. And to this we're going to add about a half a cup of honey and one tablespoon of molasses. And the reason I add in the molasses is usually this calls for brown sugar, but since I'm not using brown sugar, use the molasses to give it a little bit of that caramely flavor. And switch to the whisk. And just mix this around. And once this is mostly mixed in, we're going to add in a half a cup of peanut butter and mix this around. One egg and one teaspoon of vanilla. And once this is mixed in, I'm going to switch to the spatula. Scrape down the bowl and the dry ingredients all in one. And once that's all mixed in, about a half a cup of chopped peanuts. If you wanted to use crunchy peanut butter instead of the extra chopped nuts, you could. And once this is all mixed up, cover this with some plastic wrap and we're going to stick this in the fridge for about two hours until it's nice and chilled and then we'll bake them. My peanut butter cookie dough has been chilling for about maybe three hours just until it's firm enough to scoop into little balls and then put on this cookie sheet. My oven is preheated to 375. And I have just a cookie tray, but I have it lined with parchment paper. You don't have to, you could do an ungreased cookie sheet, but this is easy cleanup. First pan is ready to go in the oven. I'll check it at about eight minutes, but eight to 10 minutes is what it should go for. And I'm not worried about flattening these out or any kind of design on top, but you could if you wanted to, you know, do a crisscross with a fork, but into the oven. And I'm just gonna get this next pan ready. And then while we're waiting, I'll put this back in the fridge. And this is about a, about a one inch cookie scoop or ice cream scoop, but who wants ice cream this small? Cookie scoop. So first pan out of the oven, it's about eight minutes or so. And we'll just put these onto the cooling rack. And we'll just keep going with the rest of them. It's a perfect fit. So my last pan of cookies have come out of the oven. I'm gonna get this out of the way and I'll show you the peanut butter filling. Move that aside. So the peanut butter filling for our sandwich cookies is one cup of peanut butter. If you noticed, I had them sitting on the top of my stove. It's heat, it's hot from the oven and it keeps everything a little soft and easier to work with. One cup of peanut butter. bring all my ingredients closer. 
So one cup of peanut butter in there and two tablespoons of really soft butter. Quarter cup of honey. Half a teaspoon of salt in there. Quarter teaspoon. <laughs> that was a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And now a quarter teaspoon of salt. And just start mixing this around. Mashing up the butter as you go. And you'll notice it looks like peanut butter. It doesn't look any different than just peanut butter, but we know there's other stuff in here. And once that's all mixed together, I have just a quart size plastic bag here. It'll make putting the filling in the cookies faster and easier. Make it stand up. If you notice that this is too soft to work with, you can just stick it in the fridge for a minute. Kind of squeeze out the air a little bit. Scissors, not ready for those yet. So what I'm gonna do is even though we use the cookie scoop, you'll notice that some are a little bit bigger than others, but just find some that match each other. I'm gonna get some parchment paper. Same parchment paper as we cook them on. And just get some that look roughly the same size. This is my cooled off uh, cookies. If you use the, the really warm ones, this will just melt everywhere. Find ones that are close in size and just get your assembly line going here. Flip them over so you know which ones will be the top and which ones will be the bottom. Okay, uh, just like you would with any frosting. And it doesn't need to be a really big opening. And you'll notice I'm not piping it all the way around the edges. I'm just kind of putting a dollop in the middle. And then when we put the, the top part on and kind of squish it down, it will push this out to the edges. Just like that. And just keep going. You can move these back over here. If you don't want to make these with peanut butter filling, you could always do Nutella or frosting, whatever kind of filling you like besides this peanut butter. And like with most gluten-free things, you'll want to keep these in the fridge. Okay, let's give these a try. Pretty good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.